Yo, what is up, Brez? It is your boy, Guppy Boy 9 Fizzle, a.k.a. the Hentai God. And Brez. 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 I am back at y'all with another figure review. And as y'all can see, we have... We have another, another complete banger from Snail Shell. We are taking a look at the Pumpkin Princess. And, and like I said, bruh, in previous videos, it's like I always say when I review a Snail Shell figure, I always say they released, that they've done release the best figure ever made. And it's like they always trump it with a figure that comes right after it. So, like I, like I said, this right here is just another rendition to their catalog of great figures that they have done made. It's like Snail Shell is on this, is on this waifu mania run right now, bruh. And it's like they just dropping banger after banger after banger after banger because... After this figure right here and the bunny girl, Brez, we still got a couple more figures from Snail Shell that's finna drop before the, the before the year ends. We got the succubus finna drop come next month. The nun come the month after. And I don't and I feel like it's another figure that's gonna come out. And then on top of that, to chop it off, going into 2025. They still got some more catalogs of stuff they about to drop, bruh. Yo, Snail Shell has been on Twitter releasing photo images of new figures. That's the uh, new, new prototypes of figures that we've already done seeing promotional art from. But they showing, they're showing, uh, what's it called? Prototype images on Twitter. On Twitter. Of new things that are to come come 2025. So Brez. I honestly, yo, Snail Shell is cooking. And on top of that, just getting into this figure by itself. This figure by itself is just beautiful. It's amazing. Like, just taking her out of the situation. This thing right here, when we first seen the promo images for, for this figure. We didn't know what it was. We didn't know how it was going to turn out. We were like, man, this thing right here, true, they better cook. Uh, they better make sure uh, the cooking is, is extra, you know, seasoned, extra seasoned and spiced up for when they for when they deliver this plate and breads. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Hey, the season, the food, <laughs> the plate is indeed seasoned. Let, let me repeat, the plate of food is indeed seasoned. Because not only does this, not only does she have like endless articulation or just good articulation, but this thing right here by itself is beautifully articulated and well done. This thing by itself is beautiful and well done and articulated. So, and, and, and you know me being me, you know your boy had to get two. So, so I'm just going to let y'all know that, hey, this is going to be a pretty lengthy video probably. So, go ahead, strap in, and let's get into accessories. Because, boy, does she come with a great number of accessories. So, let's go. All right, Brad. So, getting into accessories, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Your boy don't even know where to start, man. So you know what? I'm gonna just start it off with the faces, because she comes like out of, now. I will say this: out of all the snail shell figures that we've gotten, this figure right here, as y'all can see on the box, has the best faces. And not only that, is one of the many uh, figures that came with an abundance of faces that are very very well done so with that being said let's get into these faces 
Now, starting off, I'm going to show the default face that came on her in the package, which is the smiling face. And just like all snail shell faces, each and every one of these faces can move the eyes. The eyes are very rotatable. She comes with a little thing right here to where you can plug it into the eyes and move the eyes around, as y'all can see. Hold on. I'm going to just show it to you right here on camera. As y'all can see, the eyes are movable. I'm trying to make sure the light can really get can really get it. As you can see, yes, you can rotate it. The eyes can indeed move. And this is what you're going to use to move the eyes around. So yeah, that's the smiling face. She comes with the, the, uh, the not intrigued, or I guess you can say kind of meh or slightly irritated or annoyed face or just an antisocial face. Then she comes with, uh, I guess you could say her laughing smiling face or cheerful face then on top of that she comes with this face that you see on the box where she's a little bit psychotic as you can see because that's the that, that's the vibe i'm getting from this character she's a little bit psychotic she's evil and psychotic that's what that's what i'm getting from it so yeah and as you can see her tongue is out as if she's probably done done kill somebody or something like that or done destroy something and she's getting joy and pleasure out of it so yeah there goes that face move those to the side and on top of that she comes with a, another accessory i'm gonna just show this she comes with a face mask like a little um you know like with a little quarantine face mask that you put on when you uh to keep yourself from getting sick that most uh of the the Japanese and all of them use and yeah it looks pretty it looks pretty dope I ain't gonna lie which I ain't gonna lie this right here is actually one of my favorite parts uh of this um of this character the fact that the face mask you just put the face mask on now I will say this it does kind of worry me a little bit because putting the face mask on and off of a face, as you can see, you got to plug the sides in around the ears, like the average mask or like the average face mask. And with that being done, you might end up like if you constantly taking it on and off, you might end up breaking the mask or the part where it plugs onto the ears. So be careful with that. Uh, what else should we, uh, what, what, I'm, I'm looking at the accessories. I'm trying to see what else we should cover. She comes with two pigtails right here. The reason for that is because I'm gonna show, show this on camera. And this is why I say this is gonna be kind of lengthy. Now, as you can see, she has two ponytails right there or two pigtails right there. You can unplug these like so. And you see these little tabs right here in her head. You can pull these out. And this right here is where these ponytails go. These are plug in into her head up here. But mine aren't really going in. And I'm kind of scared to force it because I might, I feel like I might break the little the little thing on here but I feel like you gotta press down on it uh, well I, I ain't I, I'm not even gonna try it on camera I don't want to waste too much time I don't want to waste too much of y'all precious time trying to plug a ponytail into a figure's head I'll just do that on my own time but yeah you you pull the little tabs out right here that's in the head right here these little black tabs out and these pigtails right here are meant to go up here in her head if you don't want them down here 
Or you can have her with like four ponytails in her head. It doesn't really matter. However you want to design her and have her, that's up to you. Uh, she comes with uh, two extra plug-ins right here. As y'all can see, these little tiny ones. And as and just to show y'all this, uh, just like the ones in her head can come out, she also have these in her back. So the one, the little plugs in her back can also come out, and that's where you can display her stand. Cause she comes with a plug-in stand, so yeah, you can. I'll show that to you. You can pull that out, and just like so, you have a hole right there where you can plug in a, a stand or hook her into her into her mech. So yeah, that's how that works. And I will say you might want to have like a little baggie or something to put these in because these can get lost because they are very small. So be wary of that if you want to keep up with them. So uh, man, dang, she comes with a great number of accessories, Brez. I'm, I'm not even for a lot of y'all. Like, like she comes with a lot. She comes with this skull. I'm trying to try to speed it up a little bit. She comes with this skull that she can hold, this orange skull. I guess you can kind of plug it into a base because it has like a little hole right there at the bottom or she can hold it. She comes with a lollipop that she can hold. She comes with her little crown that you can put on her head. And as you can see, the magnet is right there. And that magnetizes on the top of her head like so right there. And she comes with, uh, let me see. One, two, three, four. She comes with four sets of hands. Two regular gripping hands right here. Then she comes with two uh skeleton gripping hands. So I, I guess she's like a like a demon or something. I don't know what the character is. But yeah, she comes with two open skeleton hands that you can plug onto her. Then she comes with two relaxed skeleton hands. Then, also, like I said, she also comes with this to where you can move the eyes around in the head. And she comes with weapons. Weapons for her mech. She comes with two swords right here that she can hold. Two swords right here that she can hold. Another sword that she can hold right here. I think I showed these right here. Okay. These right here. And this one right here is just kind of like a bigger version of this one, as you can see. And then she comes for the sword that the mech can hold. And as you can see, here it is right here. This is the one that the mech is going to be holding when it slashes you in half. And as you can see, it looked like she already done slashed somebody in half, which is the reason why she got all of these psychotic faces, because it looked like they put some blood detail right there on the sword. So it could look like she done slashed through somebody. So, yeah, she's about that life. <laughs> she is about that life. So with that being said, Brez, that is it for accessories. Now it is time to move on into articulation. Okay, getting into articulation, Brez. Now, as you can see, just like every other snail shell, she has pretty much the same engineering. And you guessed it. Head is on a ball joint. She can look up about that much right there. She can look down about that much. There is no lower neck articulation. She has a ball joint at the shoulders. She can hit a T-pose. She has a bicep swivel, double jointed arms. As you can see, ball joint at the wrist. And... She can uh she has an upper diaphragm joint, which I'm not gonna lie, she gets a lot of range with her diaphragm joint right here, bruh. She gets a lot of range right there, Brez. She can lean back that much. And uh that's pretty much it. Now, she has the same leg articulation when it comes to the to the engineering of the legs. She can hit the, the splits that much. She can kick out that much, but because of how it's Sculpted it right here is going to kind of hinder how far she can kick up. She has a thigh swivel. Like, 
And just like all the other snail shell figures, you can take it apart and kind of, I guess you can kick bash it, kick bash and do all that other type of stuff. She has a double jointed knee and she has a ball joint at the, at the ankle and she can hit that ankle pivot. She has a little bit of a, of a, of a little joint right here at the, the front of her shoe and she has no toe pivot. There is no toe articulation. So yeah, pretty much on her, she pretty much has the same articulation that all of the other female characters in the snail shell universe have, which is a good thing, meaning she can pose. She can hit them poses. Now, moving on to her mech. And we're gonna set her to the side because this is the this is where the extra work comes in. This is what I mean by they cooked because breads. I don't even know where to start with, with the articulation. We don't start with the arms. Now, okay. She has some articulation in the arms. As you can see, you can get that, you can get that thumb work right there. Got that thumb moving right there. You got ball joints at the at the lower fingers, as y'all can see. You can make you a full fist. And you got one, two, three. Three ways to art like three ways to articulate it. Ball joint right here at the bottom, hinges up here in the fingers. So that's gonna be how you hold your swords and stuff like that. She has a ball joint at the wrist to give you that ankle. I mean, not that ankle, that wrist, that wrist articulation. She has a ball joint right here. I, I guess you could say at the elbow, which gives you that uh, articulation to hold that blade up and stuff like that. Then she has another, another articulation, some more articulation at the upper elbow. Yeah, so this thing has two sets of elbows or actually four sets of elbows. Yeah, to where you could, I guess you can reach higher because this thing has little, uh, little holes at the top of it right here. If y'all can see it, to where y'all can display the swords. It, uh, well, I don't know which hole they go into, but you can pretty much display the swords all in the um in the little holes at top. I want to say this goes right here, like stuff like that. You can do that right there. All of the swords can go like in the in the little holes at the top of the pumpkin which I'm not gonna do none of that on camera because that's gonna be a hassle. Yeah, now it has four sets of legs and I'm just gonna use one to art to show you what the articulation is because it's pretty much the same on all of them. You have a ball joint right here and then you have a hinge right here that allows you to get that right there. Then you have a ball joint right here, which is another hinge that allows you to get some rotation and stuff like that. And as if you turn it around, you get a tail. And I ain't even gonna lie, yo, they killed it on this tail. This is probably my most favorite thing about this, about this little mech, bruh. However, they, whoever designed this tail by itself, whoever designed this, bruh, this person right here needs a raise, needs to, a pay, a full, needs like at least five paid vacations. Bruh, the articulation in this tail, you can't even see where the joints is at. But if you look at it, they're all ball joints. They're all ball joints in sockets, basically. So that's pretty much how it's articulating. And in all honesty, looking at how they did this, bruh, yo, it ain't no reason why any other company can't just like, can't just give like a, like a, say a character with a tail, the way that they did this, it makes it look seamless. Like you can't tell that there's a, no pun intended. <laughs> you can't tell that there is some joints in the tail. <laughs> you can't, you can't tell it. So it looks natural and it flows natural, bruh. It like, just look at this, bruh. 
This is amazing. <laughs> yo, snail shell is out. Yo, hey, whoever designed the tail for this needs to be in charge of every Dragon Ball Z or every every anime character that has a tail in any type of anime or even or even like American comic books. This is the per whoever designed this, they need to be in charge of designing the tail on every freezer, cooler, every cell because they know what they doing. But yeah, that right there is how you articulate that and as uh, just moving this thing around is kind of a hassle on camera. And the the how to get her in it, it plugs in through a magnet as y'all can see. It plugs in through a magnet. So what you're going to do is you take her you pull the little plug right here in her back out. You plug her in like right there because it's going to plug right here at the t like right, like right at the top of her crack, basically. That's where the plug is going to plug in at. And that's how you're going to get her to stay on her mech, basically, when she go to slashing, hacking and slashing people. So, yeah, that's pretty much how she goes in. And I don't got her plugged in, but I mean, that's pretty much how you do it. You pull the thing that's in her back out and then you plug this in and that's how you get her in her mech. So with that being said, and with me showing y'all all of this on camera, it's finally time to move into size comparisons because breast, your boy is kind of cooked. I ain't even gonna lie. Yo, like trying to, <laughs> yo, <laughs> Try, trying to trying to show, showcase all of this on camera is a lot. But man, you know what? I do it for y'all, breasts. I do it for my breasts. But yeah, that's the articulation for her, and that's the articulation for her mech. And like I said, breasts, as you can see, snail shell went all the way in. They went in on this figure. So and just having this figure makes me excited. For any figure, any other figure that they make. Because this right here shows you that Snail Shell can do anything. So with that being said, Brass, yo, let's move into size comparison. And let's and let's just end this video off, Brass. Okay, getting into size comparisons. Now, as you can tell, she is a tad bit on the small side. So a couple of figures are probably going to tower over her. So here she is next to um, a Sophia figure. I kind of lost the shoulder pad on the left shoulder, so don't say nothing. Brez. So as you can see, Sophia stands taller than her. Here she is next to another Sophia figure with a Hatsune Miku head on it. Here she is next to the first Sophia. And as you can see, bruh, as you can see, both of the Sophias pretty much stand over her. If I can get her to stand. Okay, yeah. So there she is next to both of the Sophias. Moving them out the way, here she is next to a Kyoto Rebel Tech Catwoman. Right here. And as you can see, Catwoman stands taller than her. Here she is next to another Kyoto Rebel Tech. Supergirl, and you already know Supergirl stands taller than her, which I ain't even a lot of y'all. This might be, I know I said Catwoman was going to be in the top 10 for figure of the year, but I don't know. Her, her and Supergirl kind of battling it out right now because this Supergirl is dope. But yeah, here she is next to Kyoto Rebel Tech, Supergirl, and Catwoman. Now, moving them out the way. Here she is next to a CT Toys.
Spider-Man 2099. And of course, he stands taller than her. Here she is next to a Jada Toys Ryu. And of course, he stands taller than her. Now, moving those out the way. Here she is next to a Fison's body, Kick Bash, Naname Mizuki of an OC character. And as you can see, Naname pretty much stands taller than her, but yeah, it's a Fison's body. Them Fison's bodies stand tall. Here she is next to uh what's a I, I, I'll throw this in here. Here she is next to a metal slug figure kick bash right here. As you can see, and the metal slug figures kind of stand taller than her. So yeah, moving those out the way. Here she is next to another metal uh metal slug figure. Which, are y'all ready for them blank bodies to come out? Uh, matter of fact, no, no, uh, hold on. Here she is next to a snail shell. It's, it's best I, I do snail shell and yeah, a snail shell instead. So here she is next to the bunny girl. If she is staying right. Okay, but like I said, are y'all ready, yo, Brez, y'all ready for that, um, for them, um, metal slug blank bodies to come out? Because I'm excited for those. Like, the kick bashing is finna be endless. Here she is next to the Victoria figure with the, um, with the free run head on it. And as you can see, she is way thicker than the Victoria body. And she is way taller than the, well, that's mainly due to the heels. But yeah, she's taller than the Victoria body. So yeah, there she is next to two snail shells. And I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw some, some more psychotic or demon-esque type characters in there. Here she is next to. A second axe succubus figure. And yes, she does stand about the same height as the succubus. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, she stands about the same height as the succubus. She just not as thick as the succubus. Here she is standing next to the uh the buzz mod. To B and her and to B are about the same height. And honestly, that's pretty much it, Brass. That's pretty much it. Well, no, nah, that's that that's not it. Uh here she is next to a Marvel Legends Sentinel. For those of y'all that wanna that do like world building and you wanna have, since she's like a, a person that has like her own mech. You can use these guys right here as like some, as like a, I guess you could say like some mechs to come around and be like her bodyguards or something like that. Or just some random mechs that she'll take out. Some some guys that's hunting her. So she takes the mechs, uh, she takes them little robots out. But yeah, here she is next to a dark advent right here. And as you can see, Lena is taller than her. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, Brez. So, with that being said, Brez, this figure is dope. Like I said, you do not, if you miss out on this figure, you better get her for the price you can because you will not regret it. She is around a hundred some dollars. She's in between a hundred to a hundred and ten dollars. But if you, the longer you wait, the higher that price is going to go up. The longer you wait, the higher that price is going to go up. She's a pretty dope figure. You will not regret it. She comes with a great number of accessories. 
She's fun to play around with. She's fun to pose. And just the mech itself. If you if you don't care for the for the character, the mech itself, this right here, your it by itself is just something cool to have in your collection. You can use this right here for anything. Like you can use that for anything. Think about that. If you may not care for if you if you just want the mech and you want to you want to sell her off and just keep the mech, you can do that. Because this right here, you can have this like this right here. This can go in any collection. You can put this with anything. So yeah, just it's a cool it's cool to have. It's cool to have. If you have an Overwatch collection, you can put it with your Overwatch figures, any type of anime figures. Uh I guess you if you have like any Mar like any Marvel or DC figures, you can put it with that. Like it, she goes it like the mech can go with anything. But like I said, Briss, it's up to y'all. It's up to y'all. I'm not gonna tell y'all what y'all want what y'all do. Uh, can do with your money it's up to y'all but just know like it's a dope figure to have it's a very dope figure to have and with that being said brez don't forget to like comment and subscribe on top of that yo hey tell me what your favorite snail shell figure is that has done came out over the past few years and on top of that what new snail shell figure are you expecting by the end of either this year or next year. So, yeah, with that being said, catch you later, Brez. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I love you guys.